Hello. Okay, bad chest zombie tutorial. Uh, let's just randomize it to see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Okay, I saw a bad uh, a bad coffin right there, so I was able to back it up with a neutral jump instead of trying to jump over and do that chest from the right side. It was a good thing I saw that in advance. I could see that coffin uh, well in advance by the time I got there. Now, here's how you do this. Here's how you set it up. Uh, first of all... So normally what people do, they'll just do jumps regularly and they'll spawn the chest normally like that. Well, uh, the strat to avoid this and get a neutral jump that spawns the chest and able to kill it on the left side instead, actually you have to sacrifice a few frames right there. You gotta walk until you are about center with that, there's like a little chest horned skull thing uh, sitting on the chest, or on the uh, cage, I mean, in the background here. I jump from right about here as soon as Arthur is center with it. And uh, if I don't see a zombie, I can just jump left, grab this from the right. It should be faster that way. If I cut it close enough, I can, I can do that and I can still land pretty close to the chest while killing the wolf. It's like, that's why I said it said it, it, uh, it costs a couple frames over the most optimal way. So actually my PB doesn't go for it. But if you want less grief with this stupid chest coffin, uh, I recommend walking all the way to here before jumping. I'll show you a few more patterns that I was able to get on safe state. Oh, here comes the bad coffin. You can land in a better spot so that you can land left of the chest instead of on it. That would be most optimal. I didn't quite do that, but I still was able to survive at least. Ooh, I missed. I missed. There we go. Run doesn't die until there, <laughs> at the very least. Here's another bad coffin spawn I was able to get. Oh, I see a bad coffin. Here we go. That's the same one I got when I randomized it right there. In fact, is that the exact same one as the other one? Is it? No, that one spawns a little earlier. <laughs> so this one's in the same spot, but it's a little earlier than the other one. There's, there's other ones that appear directly on the chest. I wasn't able to get that one. I wish I could, um, but at least you could survive that. Uh, that one you can survive by, by actually jumping over it. So as far as I can tell, your chances are just as good on the right side of that as normal. Here's a bad zombie. So actually what I started doing toward the end of my grind, there's a zombie walking toward you. Sometimes this zombie can be in a really shitty spot. It's like, oh, I want to kill the chest from the right. Oops. So what I like to do is get a preemptive uh, dagger coming in. That's a, it's a really good idea. If you're, especially if you're going over here, you're more likely to hit more zombie patterns that way. Just get a preemptive dagger there before heading in. If you see the coffin in advance though, there's only gonna be one of these things. So if you see the coffin, it's like, okay, the coffin is there. There's not gonna be a bad, uh, be a bad zombie as well. There's just gonna be that coffin. So something like that. 